Hi everyone, Matt Murphy here from the Zorbits Math Adventure Education Team with another tutorial on how we can use the Zorbits platform to guide math learning outside of the classroom. Today what we're going to focus on is using the Assignments tool, which will allow us to create custom in-game modules, custom missions, that are targeting hand-picked math concepts. Uh, so when a student logs into the game, they're going to see a custom module that you've created, and it's going to focus on the concepts that you want them focusing on. So let's have a look at how we can bring that to life. So I'm on my teacher dashboard, dashboard.zorbitsmath.com. When I go into my assignments area, there's a button there that'll allow me to create a new assignment. So we're going to start by giving it a name. This is the name that the students are going to see when they go into the game. So I want to be a bit descriptive as to what we're going to be covering here. Let's do uh, counting by fives. This is a grade one concept, and it's on the counting planet of New Beetle. Next, I want to add some content. This is where I get to decide what topics I'm going to include in this assignment. So when I come down to counting forwards, we're going to count by fives, and we're going to also add some activities that get them counting backwards by fives. I'm going to add four of the counting forwards, but just two of the counting backwards. When we hit next, I get to decide who I'm going to assign this with. I can already see that there's a few students who are doing quite well with this concept based on their own open exploration of, this, of these, uh, these games uh, on the planet of New Beeland, but I'm going to send this to everybody for now. Then finally, I'm going to make this an assignment that's uh, only available for next week. Now I can create a custom time frame, but I'm going to be making a new one every week and I want my students revisiting the game from week to week so that they're keeping those math skills sharp. Uh, so I'm only going to keep this one available for next week. We're going to start on Monday and end on Friday. And, and that's it. Then we're done. So we can see it showing up here on my planned assignments. It's not quite ready to go. Uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to use the data that rolls in. But for now, I just want to show you what it looks like in the game. Over here in the game, I can see that there's two ways that I can get to that assignment or to that adventure. I can navigate to the surface of the planet manually by going through... The, the normal navigation, going to the galaxy, and then finding the planet. Uh, but I can get there a lot quicker if I use my backpack. So over here in this adventures, uh, this call to adventure, literal call to adventure, uh, I can see that one is waiting for me. When I click go, it should be a small load. Blast the asteroids and have tons of fun doing it while we're waiting. Oh, I missed them. Too slow. But we're going to land of New Beeland, which is where that adventure was designed for, that assignment. Uh, and Sergeant Scrambler is here waiting for me. He's got that mission ready to go, and I can see that those six activities that I had there before are now uh, ready and waiting for me. So this assignments tool will allow us to guide the students' in-game experience in a way that targets very specific math concepts. In our next video, we're going to look at what we do with all of the performance data that's being collected by students' engagement with these assignments and how it's going to inform the next assignments that we, uh, that we put into the game. So that's in our next video, so stay tuned for that. Until then, we'll see you.